Welcome to the Atomic Spectroscopy Lab. In this experiment, we'll be observing the spectral lines of several elements. Using known tables of spectral lines for sodium, helium, and mercury, we will establish a calibration curve that allows us to find wavelengths for the spectral lines of hydrogen. These experimentally determined wavelengths will be compared to theory using the Balmer series. This is a spectrometer. It uses a prism to separate input light into different wavelengths and provides a vernier scale to measure angles accurately. This is a sodium lamp. When first turned on, it'll be a pink color. You should wait several minutes until it warms up and turns yellow before using it. This is a tube holder. It creates a high voltage across any of the provided gas tubes. Place the spectrometer such that the collimator is against the viewing hole in the sodium lamp. Arrange the prism and telescope approximately as shown. Rotate the telescope until you can see some color. Push in or pull out the eyepiece to focus the lines as sharply as possible. Note that you may also push in or pull out the slit adjust assembly at the other end of the collimator. At the front of the collimator, there is a knob to adjust slit width. First, rotate the slit adjust assembly relative to the collimator such that the lines viewed through the telescope are vertical. Next, rotate the knob to adjust the slit width. Tighten the smaller knob on the side of the spectrometer to make sure that the prism stays in place. Then tighten the knob at the base so that the spectrometer and the part of the base that displays the angles move together. Ensure that the prism and the base of the spectrometer are not moved for the remainder of the experiment. When you look through the eyepiece, you'll see spectral lines of several different colors. Each line will be associated with one of the wavelengths listed in the table at the end of your lab manual. Put the crosshairs on one of the lines and use the vernier scale to accurately record the angle. It is not necessary for the crosshairs to be straight, provided that the intersection point is on one of the spectral lines. Repeat this for each of the lines that you see, and try to find as many of the lines listed in the table as possible. It's okay if you're missing one or two, but if you're missing five, that's a problem. Turn off the sodium lamp and move it out of the way, then take the tube holder, plug it in, and place either the mercury or helium tube in it. Turn the lamp on, and then move it so that it is roughly in the same place as the sodium lamp was. Repeat your measurements with this new lamp, using the corresponding table in the lab manual. Once you've completed mercury and helium, measure all the angles for hydrogen, even though you don't have a table. You will find the angles using your calibration curve, and compare them to theory. We hope you enjoyed the Atomic Spectroscopy Lab, and that none of our jokes cross the line.